metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Bacteria, creatures mere micrometers in length, with a vast variety of forms in a world of amazing possibilities. You gotta be kidding me right now. When you invited me to come here, you said I'd be seeing the awesomest creatures I'd ever heard of. I was gonna form a superhero team. Well, it's not my fault you accepted my invitation by way of Sillyville. Still, bacteria are very incredible mm. creatures. What's so incredible about them? They're a pain. If bacteria weren't a thing, we wouldn't have to waste all that time washing our hands. If it weren't for bacteria, none of us would exist at all, friend. <laughs> bacteria is just awesome. Bacteria can be found everywhere on Earth. Bacteria appear underground, in the air, in the water, and even places like hot desert sand. Just one milliliter of fresh water contains about one million bacteria. And one gram of soil has over 40 million. The gross mass of bacteria on our planet is more than the mass of all the other plants and animals put together. So the majority of the Earth's inhabitants are bacteria, not us. Fine, so there's more of them than there are of us. What's the big deal? Bacteria are essential for a number of things humans use. For example, milk products, like yogurt and cheese, can only be made with the use of bacteria. Bacteria are also used for wastewater treatment and to clean up serious oil spills. And they are also used to produce various life-saving medicines. The human body consists of more bacteria than resident human cells, up to 10 times more bacteria. The biggest concentrations appear on our skin and in our digestive system. These systems would fail without the presence of their bacteria. Holy carrots! Why are they inside of me? What am I, a yogurt smoothie? Ha! <laughs> well, bacteria that live inside us are essential to our digestion and metabolic functions, among other things. There are also bacteria which create the chemical reactions with nitrogen in the atmosphere, which are vital for the survival of all living beings. We can relax and live our lives while our little bitty friends work for us. In fact, there are so many bacteria on our planet, we can't study them all. But one thing is very, very clear. Our existence would be quite impossible without bacteria's help. Hey, if bacteria is so doggone helpful, what am I always scrubbing them off my hands for? All right, what are bacteria's other superpowers? Uh, well, there's a bunch, really. And there are probably countless other amazing powers we can hardly imagine. <gasps> and all that hand washing is an important precaution. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Nothing like that prickly sheen when your needles are squeaky clean. Hedgehog hygiene, yeah, yeah. Hedgehog hygiene. <laughs> you never guess what I just learned. Bacteria are teeny tiny superheroes. They help us eat, they help us breathe. There's like nothing they can't do. Isn't that awesome? B -b 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 back. B -b -back? That's right, bacteria. And a bunch of them haven't even been studied yet. What if there are bacteria that can help us do super stuff? There could be <laughs> bacteria that helps us breathe underwater or even to fly. <laughs> And if there really is a bacteria that'll really transform me into a superhero bunny, then I, I will track that bacteria down. I bow it. Start locking that door. Uh, uh, hmm. huh? <gasps> Filthy! 
Great! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. I've decided not to wash for a while. I want to collect all the bacteria I can! <laughs> One of them just has to be able to turn me into Super Crash! I know it will! <laughs> well, Crash, this is pretty insane. What if you're wrong? What if Super Bunny bacteria doesn't exist at all? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, ye of little faith! <laughs> Itch! Yeah! Yeah, it exists! I know! I won't be sharing it with you! <laughs> uh, good. I'd rather not smell like that. Uh, bye! Bad smell! Bad! Where did all these puddles of filth come from? The cleaning system just can't keep up with them. This'll make Rosa homesick. Goodness, oh, you're shower. really freaking uh, out. That smell. Um, you're not going to believe this. Uh, Crash, well, um, well, he's covered with filth, trying to find uh, super bacteria. Hmm. He is, is he? <gasps> <laughs> yes, he is. He found it, too. <laughs> Super bacteria! Dear boy, I'm a bit alarmed here. Are you quite well? You kidding? I'm perfect! <laughs> oh, and oh yeah, I took some bacteria from your laboratory. Um, that weird little jar of it. <gasps> that was cholera bacteria! I was observing how they act in zero gravity! It's fine! Just collect some from inside me! I'm full of the stuff! And they're multiplying! Making me super... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel myself getting strong. Bacteria's great stuff. I'm super crash. Yeah. Scared of some big dumb metal egg thing? Cause machines are bacteria free! <laughs> this hunk of junk is no match for super bacteria powered super crash! <laughs> That's just phenomenal! <laughs> get his fever under control. Until then, I'm afraid he'll keep having these fever dreams. Super bunny. I'm afraid this is all my fault. Who knew telling Crash about bacteria would turn out this weird and terrible? Holy carrots, you're a super germ. Bacteria, can it really do what Crash says it can? Not quite, but a lot of them do things that help us one way or another. But there are others that can be incredibly dangerous. One way that bacteria can be dangerous is that they can reproduce very quickly and overwhelm the immune system. The immune system responds and inflammation results. Inflammation can cause obstructions in the body that lead to illness and if untreated can even be deadly. Bronchial obstruction causes pneumonia. Blockage of an inflamed appendix causes appendicitis. And a blocked sweat gland can cause furunculosis, more commonly known as boils. 
when harmful bacteria are attacking, is there a way to fight them off? Yes, there is, fortunately. The thing that can fight against bacteria is fungi. Fungi? <laughs> yes. Scientists discovered that the Penicillium notatum fungi are able to destroy the cell walls of harmful bacteria and successfully eliminate them. The antibiotic penicillin was the first effective medicine against bacterial infection ever invented. But antibiotics should be taken carefully, because with time, antibiotics can actually train bacteria and learn to be insensitive to the antibiotics' effect. We have to invent more and more powerful antibiotics, which cause the development of more powerful bacteria. Uh, and would that be the super bacteria Crash has been looking for? No bacteria will turn Crash into a superhero. In general, it's better to keep bacteria from finding its way into our bodies with the help of a few simple actions, like washing our hands. How's the patient, hmm? Convalescing nicely, are we? Yeah, I feel great. These antibiotics are awesome. <laughs> They're really way cooler than bacteria. <laughs> There's got to be super antibiotics out there. Mm. Think about it. Super obvious, right? They are a fun guy, and I am also a fun guy. <gasps> it's Kismet, dude. In 1928, Sir Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin by accident. He was checking petri dishes filled with old bacteria when he realized that some of the dishes had become contaminated by fungi and that in those dishes, the bacteria were being destroyed. Later, English scientist Florian Chain helped Fleming to extract the substance killing the bacteria from the fungi. And in 1945, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their development of penicillin. A new medical era had begun.